South Park episode 2. I actually need to record more uh, videos today, but I've got a Zoom call with the whole video IQ stuff, and thus I won't be able to do very much. So I'm going to try and get as much edited and uploaded as I can, but yeah. Anyway, the kids all go hunting with uh, Stan's uncle and his uh, Vietnam War friend who talks with a little, you know how sometimes smokers have those little things where they talk with a robot voice on their throat? Yeah, that's that. Anyway. Yeah. This guy does not follow uh, hunting laws, which indicate that you don't kill endangered animals. You don't kill certain animals at a season, obviously. And you definitely don't shouldn't use things like grenades and stuff. At the very least, he told them not to shoot anything that looks human. But, yeah. Stan doesn't want to, uh, kill things. I mean, that's perfectly fine, especially things like defenseless bunnies. I mean, why would you want to kill a bunny? Now, if it's something that's attacking you, then by all means, go ahead. But, yeah, that never happens in this episode, I think. Yeah. <sighs> oh, oh, sorry. That never happens in this episode. None of the animals that they kill attack them. Never. And while this is going on, apparently South Lark is close to an active volcano that I didn't realize. I thought that was just a mountain. And what they were experiencing was an earthquake. No, that is a volcano and it is ready to blow. And the geologist, which I think is, uh, shoot, one of the kids' dad. I can't remember which one. I think, let me know if I'm, if I'm right in the comments. They go tell the mayor, and the mayor is only concerned about getting this on TV and making herself look good, essentially. Obviously, they need to go and find the kids, because they know the kids are out there, out there hunting, and are thus in the path of the volcano. But then again, the whole town's in the path of the volcano. And they come up with an idea to dig a trench and divert the lava to into the canyon. And, I mean, that's a pretty good idea. As long as you make sure that there's nothing in the path of the volcano, in the path of that canyon. Because if there is, then, well, whatever's there is going to get destroyed. Speaking of which, they play a how to deal with volcano safety. And I'm like... Oh, this isn't going to be good. And it turns out that they only tell people to do when encountering lava is to duck and cover. And... No. If you are somehow around an active volcano that is erupting, your best bet is to run as far and as fast as you can. But, yeah, that's the gist of it. Run as far as fast as you can away from, as far away as you can get from the volcano. And if you're on an island, um, you might want to get a boat or a raft or something and get as far away as you can that way. Because otherwise you are screwed because lava will kill you if you try and duck and cover, which is shown when it actually does erupt. And three people try to duck and cover, and we all know what happens. The lava destroys them. And by all this point, Cartman tried to tell a scary story the night before involving something called Scuttlebutt that has, I think, a piece of celery from one hand and an actor, I'm guessing, as a leg and weaves baskets. And I'm like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And it can't be real. But then again, this show, it more than likely is. Which actually, it turns out, it actually is real. And it actually makes a basket to get them to the other side of the trench that the others dug. Because if not, they would have gotten, well, they probably would have been caught by the lava. 
And Cartman decides, because they made fun of him for his story, and the fact that his mom was being all clingy to him before they left, that he's going to try and scare them by dressing up as Scuttlebutt, which is not a smart idea, considering these idiots have been trying to shoot everything that moves since they got there. And, yeah, thankfully he takes off the costume before, Car uh, before uh, Stan tries to shoot him. No, the others try to shoot him after Stan refuses to. And, yeah. Thankfully they're able to divert the lava with the trench, however they didn't take into account that the canyon has the city of Denver in it. A population of, what, 500,000 apparently? So yeah, Denver's possibly destroyed, possibly lost a lot of lives. Some people managed to get out. But I doubt all of them did. So yeah, y'all just killed off the city of Denver. Anyway, Stan finally shoots something. However, it ends up being Scuttlebutt. When there was no reason to. And, well, yeah, you could probably guess Kenny died in this episode. Though, not by the lava, surprisingly enough, because that was a bit of a fake out right there. And it turns out it was, uh, Stan's uncle, I think, that shot him by accident. So, yeah, Kenny dead. Again. And if I think is, he comes... Actually, there is a canonical reason for this, I think, later on down the road. As to why Kenny dies and comes back every time. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, I love... I am starting to really like... I'm interested in the show. I'm not gonna say I love the show, obviously, because... I just started watching it, and I can't really judge on this kind of show this early. Some I can, like Horamia for example, but that more appeals to my taste than this does. But yeah, it's a good show so far. 